Namibian president Giengo to undergo treatment after cancerous cells found. Yeah, Namibian president will be undergoing cancer treatment. Um, this is a very, very difficult moment for him. So all we can do is offer our solidarity and prayers to him. And let's hope he gets better as soon as possible. Namibian president Giengo will start treatment for cancer after routine medical checkups and a follow-up biopsy led to a detection of cancerous cells, his office said. The Namibian presidency said Friday, the 82 years old had a colonoscopy and a gastroscopy on January 8, followed by biopsy. On the advice of the medical team, President, President Gingop will undertake appropriate medical treatment to deal with the cancerous cell, uh, his office said. Gringo, who had been president of the Southern African nation since 2015, is due to continue to carry out presidential duties alongside the cabinet of which he is the chairperson. In June 2023, he underwent an arctic operation he revealed in 2014 when he was the prime minister he had survived a post cancer. Well, I think this um, president has gone through a lot. And he's 82, right? He's 82. So um, why is he still governing a country at that age? What is wrong with Africa and these leaders? Remember, he is 82. Doesn't he think that it's the right time for him to just step aside, go take care of himself, make sure that he can get well and just live a happy and healthy life instead of him struggling to keep his political powers and also struggling to keep his health intact. I have never understood African leaders. <laughs> I have never understood that. But enough of that. Ish today has. So let's move on to the next story for today. Namibian criticized German support for Israel over ICJ genocide case. Yeah, Nam 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 Namibia came out to criticize Germany for their support against South Africa and against the Palestinians. You would think that the German government would understand that what the Palestinians are going through is not fair, it's not just. You would think that, but you'd be surprised that Germany came out to support Israel and to go against South Africa at The Hague. That is why I have always had issues with Western powers, because they are never for other people. Now, they might have succeeded in implementing freedom of speech, freedom of expressions in their own home countries, but for others to have that is a big problem. Like coming to Africa, they will come and preach to us about all these nice things. But deep down, I mean, deep down, there is nothing like that. Because at the same time, they would force authoritarian leaders on us. They will protect them. They will defend them. That is why we have them across Africa, mostly in French-speaking African countries. We have dictators in those countries. We have authoritarians in those countries. And the French government has been defending them has been protecting them, has been funding them, allegedly. So a thing like this from a Western power doesn't surprise me because I know what they can do. But let's continue. Namibian has disapproved of Germany's decision to step in on behalf of Israel in a case before the International Court of Justice where South Africa has accused Israel of committing genocide in Gaza. President Haag urged Germany to reconsider its involvement, citing the historical context of German's acknowledgement of genocide in Namibia in 2021. During the period from 1904 to 1908, German colonizer perpetrated what historian consider the 20th century's first genocide, resulting in the massacre of over 70,000 
Harawa and Nama people. President Gigo argued that Germany's moral commitment to the United Nations Convention Against Genocide, including atonement for the Namibian genocide, conflicted with its support for Israel. He stated that the German government had yet to fully address its historical wrongdoings in Namibia. That is true. So I'm happy that African leaders are standing up. You know, from South Africa to Namibia, we can see African leaders calling out their Western counterpart if they are doing things that are not in line with their own principles. And there's one thing that this whole conflict in uh, Gaza has let all of us see. You would think that America, with all their human rights, freedom of speech, freedom of expression, will, 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 will stand behind oppressed people, will, will, will defend the, the, the common Palestinians who are being slaughtered by the Israelis. I mean, their military and their lead, uh, leadership, obviously. But you'll be surprised to see America standing side by side with Israel. American vetoing every single United Nations resolution on the conflict in Gaza. The America will come out to tell us that they are a democratic nation, that they fight for the common person, really? And they expect us to believe that? We do not believe that. We all know what is going on. We all know the lives of common people does not, uh, do not really matter. That in this world, if you are but a common person, then your life doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. But enough of that. So my brothers and sisters in Africa, let's be wise. Let's be smart. Let's stand up for ourselves. Let's understand that only us can do things for ourselves. Let's stop depending on others to come to our aid because they will never ever come to our aid if it's going to solely benefit us. They will only come if it is going to benefit them the most. I think most of us, the Africans, are way more educated and we've all understood the playbook of the Westerners. So those were the stories we were able to cover for today and uh, we hope you enjoy them. Please leave us a comment below. Let us know what you think about our show and uh, how we cover the headlines. And please, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel because that helps us a lot and we shall ever be grateful to you. So thank you much for being just that. And like always, see you in the next one.